TGIF, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today on March the 2nd? Yes, the Friday. S- sexiest of Fridays. The sexiest of Fridays. <laughs> sexiest day of the week. Is it now? Well, of either course. that or hump day. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's a good question. Is Friday the sexiest or is hump day Wednesday? The Friday's sexiest? sexier, bro. Because hump day, you're just trying to get through it. Yeah, you're like... I'm almost through the week, but then Friday, you're kind of free to do your own damn thing. Yeah, people think hump day, hump day is about humping. No. Nobody's humping on hump day. No. It's well, the hump. Is anybody actually humping on hump day? Ain't nobody humping around. <laughs> Shouts out to Bobby Brown. <laughs> Rest in peace, Whitney Houston. We love you, girl. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> humping around. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Talk and Trends. The musical medley there. <laughs> uh, we do the show from Monday to Friday. Uh, we take all the interesting articles from around the globe and we bring them to your desktop, your laptop, to your face, to yeah, your ears. in your face. And we would love to hear your opinions on the articles we will be talking about. We they do. And today is no exception because we have another stellar show. Yep. Shout out to Mo came through last yesterday. Big ups to Mo for Big stopping ups to by. Mo, Miss Lion Hunter herself, killing it. Yeah, it was so good. Uh, we're excited for her upcoming projects that she has lined up in the future. Shh, don't say we that's it. her, but we can't tell that's you. That's all I'm saying. What, what, what we can tell you is what's on today's agenda. And first up, we're going to be talking about what is it? San Diego is paying the homeless people to pick up the trash. I enjoy that. I like this story. I love that story. Uh, a story that I don't like yes. is a teacher in Atlanta has went into a school and discharged a firearm. That story, we don't like. No. no. Nobody thankfully got hurt, but yes. we'll talk about the story in a little bit. Then later on, I love cheesecake. Tony loves cheesecake. <laughs> Everybody loves cheesecake. Who doesn't? Except for when it's poisoned. Yeah, you might not want to eat that cheesecake, <laughs> especially from your friends. So right? we'll talk about that. And finally, the boss, Rick Ross himself, experiencing some serious health issues yet again. Yes, been battling for a while. We'll talk about that as well. Yeah, so we hate to see people battling with health addiction. No. Uh, Less cheesecake, health maybe. Issues. Yeah, maybe less Not cheesecake. Not as many cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Ross, put down the folk, baby. Right? Uh, but yeah, this is Talking Trends, ladies and gentlemen. Thank That's you for it. tuning in. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get into it right now. So, I without further ado, further ado, a do do. Uh, San Diego is paying the homeless people to pick up the trash in a new program. Uh, San Diego officials are putting the homeless people to work and back on the street. But this time, it's to pay them to pick up the trash as a part of a new program that launched last Monday. Yep. Uh, the homeless people who are staying in the 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 city's tents and shelters will be cleaning up trash and clearing uh, brush in the downtown area of San Diego for five hours a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, the program is called Wheels of Change, and will pay. I'm sorry, will pay participants 11.50 an hour, and is expected to hold cleaning shifts at least three days a week. Uh, Wheels for Change will help restore dignity by allowing people to earn a paycheck and begin to get their uh, their life back in order. And for many, this is uh, this may be the chance uh, they need to begin to turn around their lives. Yeah, I personally like this little uh, this story. I'm wondering why more people haven't done this. There's uh, like well, more cities. You know what I'm saying? Like that seems like a great. I, I don't see a downside. No, I don't think so that. either. Uh, in the states, the program. I'm not sure if it's called the same in every city, but there are similar ones that were launched in Chicago, Denver, and New Mexico. I think there was one more city, but right. there is a couple at least that are trying this. And I can't see why not every major city should can't do this. Dude, every city has the homeless. It's an unfortunate situation, yes. but it happens. It's yeah. all over the world, and a lot of them are able body yes they could work yeah but unfortunately they don't have the opportunity to work the chance to work uh you know they don't have the you know they're just they don't have the opportunities presented to them it's a great opportunity it solves two problems <laughs> it yeah. solves your homeless problem exactly which i'm sure and again every city has and it solves your disgusting city problem which every city has exactly you know what and that also helps Dude, that's a win-win it, it, it helps the city out uh when tourism comes it also yeah. helps your city out if you want to have special events let's say if your city may be selected for uh, the olympics 
for for chance yeah or like an f1 race or some kind of a event that wouldn't typically or uh that requires like a clean city and what what do you have going on this is an awesome thing to have on the resume of a city like super clean we're employing the homeless yeah. um yeah i can't this is like a win-win i think more cities should do this i think they should stop wasting money on other projects there's yeah. probably a lot of i think we should do this oh in my this god city. there's come the, on man there's so many things that money is wasted on i believe in a lot of cities and could be better used and again in this situation this is helping a, uh, a a person yeah. potentially get back on their feet, yes. uh, save up some money because they're in these shelters that they don't have to pay for anything. So hopefully they're able to accumulate enough money, maybe buy a new set of clothes, get a proper, not saying uh, this is a bad job, no, no, no. but just, you know, kind of get back on their feet. And I, I really respect the idea of this program and I would implore this again. I like every it. Every motherfucking city. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the question I would have, and, and to play the other side of it, is wh- uh, people that I know where you're going. To people that do uh, do this for a living, mm-hmm. right? Like, are they going to be upset because now you're giving away jobs, their jobs to? No, because you know, you know the, what I mean. Like in this situation, I think uh, in San Diego at least, there's only it's only three shifts a week, so it's only okay. three days a week. So it's not like they're going all out with it and i think they're only hiring a certain amount of people so it's not every single homeless okay. person uh just a certain a, a, f- a few amount that that go through this little application process okay and they i think they have to live at this certain shelter and in doing in so to, okay. you have to participate in this this program to live at the at said shelter i like it i like the idea me too what, uh, what were you think i was going to say you thought i was going to say something else i thought you were going to say what would they be doing with the money as we all assume, when somebody's begging for money, yeah. you're like, you know what? I'm not going to give them money because you know where that's going? That's going to their alcohol addiction yeah, or I drug get addiction. It. I get it. But, I mean, maybe along the lines, you can also maybe start, maybe add those programs as a part of it. Like, listen, if you want to be have this job, you also have to go to right. this program every week. or And maybe you have to stay sober. And maybe you have to stay sober. Be- because, like any job, you're not going to go in no. tanked or high. Right. Unless, unless that's your job. Unless if that's your job if to go in. that's your in. job, like call us. Right. We need to know. That's a good job. A, can we put in our application? Can we get in on that action? This weekend. Right away. Right. <laughs> we can start After the it, show. We can start immediately. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, I, I like that idea too. Because if that was the case, yeah, you have to also do. Because it's also, I think the biggest thing with the, uh, the, the problem is with um, homeless people and just people in general yeah. is when you get bored, you tend to, you know, you tend to wander. And I think if you fill up your time yeah. with things that keep you like positively active, right. uh, yeah, it'd, it'd be, it's a win-win situation. So in this situation, yeah, get them to fill the application form, get them to attend such yeah. programs, and for them to also keep the, this job for picking up uh, garbage around the city. Absolutely, man. Uh, Kara likes a fantastic idea. Everyone deserves an opportunity. And I said a long time ago that the inmates should be forced to pick up garbage, always. I think uh, so. But that helps the homeless even better. Of course, uh, aside from helping the criminals, you know, uh, give the homeless another. Dude, this is what I said you know, earlier, too. Well, not, like, uh, even last year, I had a conversation with my friend uh, about the whole winter clearing up. Right. Take the people from jail. Oh, dude. And get them shoveling some snow. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it might take a little bit more manpower from, like, the 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 CEOs or whatever to, yeah. to watch over them. I th- but honestly, get those guys out, and maybe that can build towards them making parole a little bit faster, show that they're able to, you know, uh, take orders and... I don't know, just anything, right? I think the major difference between the two, because if you have the if you have prisoners out there doing labor, it's going to cost you more money, maybe because you have to get more people to watch them. This is yeah. the homeless are out there, right? I mean, nobody watching the homeless. No, and actually, they're going to save you money because guess what? The more homeless that are working and making money, guess where they're not going to have to live anymore? They're not going to have to live in the shelters. Exactly. Less money going into those shelters. I mean, there's going to be more homeless people, but. At least you, you're starting to drum up, do something positive for the economy. Right. And just like you said, mentally, for people that are homeless to be feel like they're needed, exactly. useful. Exactly. Listen, that's a world of difference in these people's lives. Yeah. And on top of that, you're getting the streets clean. It's a win-win, man. It's a I, win-win, I ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Halifax, Let's you're listening. This. Yeah. Anybody from Halifax that can Let's make hire. this, this product. Yeah, you know what? Maybe can, can we even put this together? Can we do this? I don't know. We should try and start this. 
Who will we contact about this I don't situation? Know. I think we probably could find. We need enough. to contact Andy Fillmore. Uh, you know who we need to contact? Um, what's his name? Uh, Lindell. Yes, Lindell Smith. Holler at us. Holler at us. We we'll holler at you. You know what? I think we can get this together. I think we're going to see him tonight at the event. Oh, okay. if you're around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's he's going to be. Him. He's going to be at this event. Ladies and gentlemen, boom! We're going to do this. That's how talking trends do it. Hey, baby. we help the homeless. We are helping everybody. We're and trying helping all humanity. <laughs> uh, up next, who's not great helping? Idea. Great idea, though. I like it. Oh, me too. Yeah. Uh, What's up? What's up? A person who's not helping humanity is this teacher who was recently charged <laughs> for firing a gun inside a high school. Dude. Um, police have formally charged adult uh, the Dalton High School teacher who they said fired a gun inside the school on Wednesday. Uh, Dalton police say 53 year old Jesse Davison is charged with aggravated assault, carrying a uh, weapon on school grounds, terroristic threats reckless conduct possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime and disrupting public school it's a lot of charges my friend Jeez, um, that's a pile of charges. <laughs> davison apparently brought the gun in onto campus in a computer case wednesday morning though a uh, weapon was a sub nose 38 revolver davison fired at least one shot through a classroom window at the dalton high school on wednesday morning just before noon uh, a bullet had gone through the exterior window of the room but it didn't appear that davison was aiming at any particular person um finally there was nobody who was injured Thankfully, um, Davison was ultimately taken into custody with no injury to him or the police. Uh, after the short standoff with the classroom door locked, he later surrendered to police. Um, it's later, it's, it's unclear what led to why the teacher locked himself in the, the classroom, but I was reading through a couple of forums mm -hmm. later on, mm -hmm. and someone said it might have been an apparent suicide attempt. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, which is very, again, makes a bit more sense. Right? Why would you lock yourself in the classroom? True. Again, like, why would you want to take that out at a school? Like, why would you get up, yeah. drive to school, right. conceal this gun, walk into classroom, lock the door, God knows how long he was in there, yeah. and try and, and leave that and if you were successful why would you want to leave that scene for everybody to see after you know what the whole problem with school this the current right, situation right, with right. schools is right now yeah uh, and to add to that is this another reason why we should not allow teachers to be armed for mm. class or teaching students well, the fact is, I mean, that could have been anybody, I guess. Um, I'm assuming that he gained access to the school because he's a teacher. Yes. So he was able to get in. Easily. Right? So for someone else, maybe they wouldn't have been able to get in as easy. Right. Uh, doing it there, why he chose to do it there, it could have been any reason. I mean, maybe it was something against where he worked, the people that he worked with. It could have been an issue with, you know, his employment. Or it was to send a message or get more notoriety because it happens in a school. And if he did it there, he'd be more known. But he didn't. He's still alive now. Obviously, yeah. he's taken into custody. So, yes. uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's again. I think it comes back to mental state. I think so. Right. And again, uh, to the question, why should we uh, let these teachers be armed? Everybody has a bad day. Yeah. And then, do you want to take your chance? Like, I mean, you send your kids to school to yeah. to learn. You don't think about uh, the horrible situation that happened in in Florida and countless other schools right. uh, in the world, and especially in America. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't think about that. And then, for that chance to have a teacher come in with a a bad day, super depressed, yeah. and then potentially, a take it out on themselves yeah. in front of students, or yeah. waiting maybe a student just pushes them over the edge a little bit true and then they take it out on the student or students themselves that's true and i feel like that's just opening this is opening that door for this to happen it's opening up a whole new avenue of problems because that you never had. teachers are already there's countless videos of teachers and staff from school yeah. trying to assaulting students getting in physical conf uh, confrontation mm. with students and then on top of this now you're going to allow them to have a gun so in those physical confrontations <clears throat> now they have the option of shooting a student yeah uh, i think recently they were talking about the local news here and the amount of it was an 1800 1800 uh physical assaults or fights or That's what i heard physical altercations that have already happened in school were already to only two months deep in the in the year insane 1800 
Or no, was that the beginning of the school year? I think it was the beginning of the school, school year. year. So six months deep, we have 1,800 already uh, situations, physical violence situations happening here, which is crazy. Someone was mentioning a teacher that was wearing a Kevlar vest potentially oh to goodness. school now because they, they fear. And the thing about it is teachers have no power. Yeah. Right. So essentially, that's what they get spit on all the time. They get yelled at. Desks are thrown. So all these things are happening. So you're right. What happens if that happens on one day and the teacher is armed and they just had enough? It, just exactly. <laughs> just Listen, had enough with you can't, life. You with can't. You just can't arm these guys. You can't do it because people will do things in the emotional moment. Exactly. And not to say that every teacher would, because nope. I mean, listen, you have to be, have a certain level of mentality to be able to pull the trigger. Everybody has a breaking point. Everyone has a breaking point, but um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's 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 a it's a bad idea all around. Uh, we have a comment here: teacher can get the same mindset as a bullied student. Teacher could be pushed to his or her limits. And what happens when they do so? What happens if they have a gun on them? Well, this is what happens. I mean, I remember going to school and when a substitute would come in to the class and we knew that there was a substitute teacher, teacher, it's almost like not all hell would break loose, but the respect level definitely goes down. It, yes. th we take advantage of the situation because there's a new teacher and I mean, they may not feel as comfortable yeah. to, to teaching the class. True. So, I mean, yeah, true. again, and then... I've seen substitute teachers like walk out, get totally ticked off. And I mean, I never went to the most roughest, toughest schools and I can From only streets, right. But I can only imagine the, all the crazier schools out there. Yeah. And it probably like this probably happens more. I can only imagine how many teachers would probably walk out. And uh, I, I think that it also, I, I mean, it, listen, if it happens in a, you know, lower income school area, mm -hmm. and there's more issues in that those those areas because of the sociological, you know, uh, uh, situation there. Yeah. Okay, I can imagine maybe more incidences there, mm -hmm. but I think that you know, even in private schools or some of the higher, I think it might be almost as bad because those kids almost feel privileged in a way. For sure. And f you know what I mean, used to getting things that they want, so they just will act a certain way, and knowing the teacher can do nothing at all. My daddy, your mommy pays for my schooling. You better do what I say. Right. So I don't know what, what case is worse. I think one might be more dangerous than the other. Um, but I think overall, you're right. I think it's just, uh, I don't know. Everyone has a breaking point. Yeah. And I think if you arm people, it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's just a bad idea. It's just I mean, this guy's a prime example. He, you know, this is a guy who went, made an effort to go back to the school. Yeah. To kill himself, yeah, a p potentially or a, a rumored, but still, yeah, but he brought the gun and it and it fired off like he it discharged. Listen, we know the stats. Like I think the stats are in the states. It used to be like eight out of ten times if you have a gun in your home, it's used against you in a break in. Right, it's used against you yeah. eight out of ten. That's a bad number. Right? So like, I can only what imagine. What do you think going to happen if a student loses mind and gets his hand on your Exa piece? Exactly. I mean, come on. Yeah. Anyway, bad idea all around. And the U.S. seems to be the, co the country that has the most problems. We've looked at the stats. No country even comes close. Even though they have uh, equal amount of guns or close to, yeah. nowhere near yeah. what happens in the U.S. So, U.S., get your shit together. Yes. <laughs> come on. You guys can do better. Come on, We folks. can all do better. Um, do better. Interesting story coming up next. Yeah. What? When's the last time you had a, a piece of cheesecake? Tony? We were just talking about this, yeah. and I can't remember. I can't remember either. I don't think it was that. I think I had a piece. Of, I want to say within. The, I probably had one within the year. I want to say like I like within well, that's the 12, a long time. Twelve months, I'd say. I probably had maybe a slice. Twelve months. One piece in the last twelve months. Yeah. Yeah, I'm somewhere. I may have had one or two. Okay. I don't mind. But not a poison piece. Of well, listen. If you're gonna have one. Trying to, th you figure if your friend brought you cheesecake. Tony, if you brought me cheesecake, I'd be like, thanks, friend. It'd be safe to, yeah, consume. Right. Uh, be careful who your friends are. Uh, <laughs> a, woman, a woman allegedly gave her friend a cheesecake mm. laced with tranquilizers before, <laughs> steal, before stealing her passport and cash has been charged with attempted murder. New York prosecutors say Russian native uh, Victoria Nesovora, uh, 42 years old, wanted to exploit the similarity in looks between herself and the victim in order to steal her identity. Oh, wow. This is a bizarre and twisted crime that could have resulted in a death uh, as of a Queens woman uh, whose only fault was uh, she shared similar features with the defendant. That's it. So the lady just, they looked similar. She wanted to steal her identity, and that's why she targeted the situation. Uh, he added both women uh, have dark hair, uh, skin complexion very similar, and uh, both of them uh, spoke Russian. Uh, Mr. Brown uh, said that the uh, oh, should uh, oh yes okay here we go uh, so he basically said the quote unquote the woman ate the cheesecake 
She fell ill and laid down. Uh, before passing out, the woman's last memory is of seeing the defendant sitting beside her in her uh, room. But that's so scary. Isn't that creepy? Oh like my I can't. My eyes are fading. I, that's like sitting. one of those movies. It's literally like a, just that like she that scene sit, in the movie she's where in there waiting. yeah, and the vision gets blurry. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, yeah, yeah, it all goes blurry. Yeah, it opens it one more time. And then right. Goes. The following day, a friend found the victim unconscious in her bed, uh, dressed in lingerie. Uh, with pills scattered around her as if the woman had attempted to kill herself. Right. Okay. So she even staged the whole thing. This seems very, uh, sorry to cut you off, 007-ish. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. espionage spy stuff. Very law and order situation. Yeah. I think going on here. That's true too. Uh, yeah, very espionage situation yeah. with the Russians and everything. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, returning home following her discharge from hospital, she, she lived, she didn't die. She discovered her passport, employment card, a ring, and cash had disappeared from her home. As she, report, uh, she reported the thefts, detectives tested the cheesecake and discovered it contained the Russian twank, tranquilizer, Fenazepan. Okay. Fenazepan. Uh, this woman, this woman who uh, attempted to do this, fled the U.S. in 2014 from Russia, where she was wanted in connection with the killing of a 54-year-old woman, who remains uh, were found burned and buried two miles from her home. Okay, this so <laughs> wow. She has an mo. Yes, yeah, she, uh, she has a c clear history. Uh, of listen, uh, issues. Very, it is super gangster. <laughs> carries that super it is kind of super gangster I ain't gonna lie yeah that's some that's some crazy SP if that was your wife or girlfriend it'd be like don't worry she, she got it yeah I well, don't have to worry about her <laughs> Emmeline uh, sends my friends bring <laughs> my friends been bringing me cheesecake regularly the last two months poisoned or not I still eat it true listen I'm not saying <laughs> oh, when your friend brings you cheesecake don't eat it but if she's Russian no, I shouldn't say that. But no, no. If she's got... <laughs> listen, if your friend has a history of killing people... Yeah. I, listen. Stealing passports. Well, how would you know? You'd never know. I, this is true. Better research your friends. Uh, but on top mm. of that, why don't you just hide your shit? Hide your jewelry. Hide your cash. Put away your passport. All your vital statistics situation. Put those in the safe somewhere. This is just an odd story in general. <clears throat> just the the whole i've heard of like identity theft and usually you yeah. hear identity theft it's kind of like an online <laughs> thing where yeah, like I'll, I'll take your your sin number uh, or your credit card no this lady wants this to, like that's like face. that's like me trying to yeah. look like tony yeah handing him some cheesecake yeah. letting him pass out yeah scattering some pills around him just in case if he did die it would look like yeah. he tried to do it himself yeah, dude why wouldn't you eat the cheesecake with her my thing is if I'm eating the cheesecake, but she's not having any cheesecake. Mm. God, I know I'm something's going, up. Uh, listen, you better yeah. have some cheesecake. Yeah, it's true. And yeah. why am I in lingerie all of a sudden? This <laughs> lady, <laughs> I have some cheesecake. Next thing you know, I'm in a friggin' teddy. Yeah. What's happening here? <laughs> something wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, you got to be careful with cheesecake, people. It not only puts on the pounds, but you may lose all your shit. You might lose your life. Yeah, that's that would be my thing. It's like. How come you're not having any cheesecake? Yeah. You nah, brought me this I cheesecake. I already ate them good. Yeah, you ate your good. No, nah, you yeah. having some right now. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. be careful. Yeah. Watch, watch out for cheesecake. Don't trust anybody who brings you cheesecake and doesn't have a slice of their own. Yeah. Unless if they're like lactose intolerant or what have you. I'll say, I'll have some later. Mm. But if she looks like you, if you look similar, <laughs> hide your passports. Right. Hide your passports. <laughs> they raping everybody out here. They raping everybody <laughs> out here. They're stealing and raping everybody out here. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. Nah, I want cheesecake. I know, right? Bloody hell, I'm hungry. Goddamn. Uh, Forget it. And finally, <clears throat> yeah. uh, the biggest boss of them all. The biggest boss every day is hustling Rick Ross. Rick, Ricky Rose. Hospitalized again mm. uh, with uh, possible pneumonia, which is uh, nothing to mess with. Rick Ross is in the hospital for serious medical, con medical condition. Uh, we're told that Rick Ross uh, <clears throat> took ill in Miami, uh, where he lives. Uh, someone called. Uh, someone called from 911 at 3:30 a.m. Thursday and said the person in distress was breathing heavy and unresponsive. The call said the man in distress has a history of seizures, uh, something uh, that has plagued Rick Ross for uh, quite a long time, actually, uh, in and out this month, which has been bad. Told Rick went to the hospital by ambulance, receiving respiratory treatment, possibly for pneumonia. One person connected to Ross says the medical issues is heart related. Uh, mm. Basically, at this point, uh, he's still in the hospital right now. Um, a family member does strongly deny Ross was hospitalized, which is like, why would you just come on and say he's not? Like, it's all over the news. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't the first time, of course, the boss has had these major issues. Uh, he suffered two seizures on two separate flights back in October 2011. He was also hospitalized back then. Uh, he blamed it on the lack of sleep. 
uh, but changed his lifestyle and diet. I mean, he's been kind of up and down. Eventually, at that point, I think he dropped like 100 pounds. Well, he, he's, he was doing his Ross fit. He was doing the Ross fit. Yeah. He dropped 100 pounds. He still looks like he's still like he's maintaining how he looks or whatever after the weight loss. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I follow him on Snapchat, and, I mean, there yeah. are – Lots of snaps of him, like Listen, posting the, the bot, like the the yeah. Belvedere bottle, yeah. smoking the cigars, smoking the weed, etc., yeah. etc. Et so, I mean, if you already have these problems, and literally like smoking yeah. and, and 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 current lung infections do lead to pneumonia. I mean, they don't, they, yeah, they don't lead to, but they definitely are attribute attributes to yeah. getting it. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, we see some of these. We were just talking about Kevin Smith. Uh, yes. Earlier this afternoon, Kevin Smith, of course, famous director and actor, yeah. uh, recently had a heart attack. Yeah. And again, same situation, health-wise, hasn't been the best. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a bigger fella, you know, never really was healthy as far as eating or lifestyles. Um, and now he's feeling that. And the worst part about it, I think he's got it worse than Raw. I mean, as far as medical condition right now, I think he's doing a little worse off. But mm -hmm. um, but Ross has had it on and off, you know, for for. It's five, six, seven, eight years. Right. So, yeah. um, not and, good, man. And uh, that's what I mean. Like you got to take those signs and really uh, start being more accountable to yourself. Yeah. And uh, hey, man. I mean, when I I, la I had at my last asthma attack was a couple of years ago, and then after that, I was like, time mm. to stop hanging around people who smoke and yeah. just you know, you gotta you gotta take those signs and really, yeah. you got one life to live, man. Yeah. You know? And knock on wood, I've never had anything right. major medically happen to me, yeah. but. You know, everything in moderation. Yeah. You know, if you're going to have some drinks, have a few drinks. Mm -hmm. Don't drink the whole bar. And don't do it every weekend. Don't tell me what to do, Tony. Oh, I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, same thing with eating and exercising. Everybody knows the deal. We, yeah. we preach that all the time. But yeah. shouts out to the boss. And hopefully he... Uh, can bounce back from this one. Hopefully he gets back together and makes uh, some good music. I always enjoy listening to the old Ross at times. The Ross, the boss, uh, yeah. And anybody out there who was, uh, who's have a, had a little scare and you're still with us, you know, <laughs> take that moment, reflect, and get better. Take take the steps to to yeah. improving a little bit. That's what I'm, like, trying to stay on this year. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, encourage others. I'm, I'm nobody. I'm just, you know, I would like to see you're all You're somebody. My, <laughs> I just want to see all my friends and everybody have – you know, live their life to the fullest, you know, yeah. as possible. And, and, you know, take a healthy journey with me, people. If that does happen, you, God forbid, people uh, take it as a, uh, yeah, like you said, take a breath and just realize you have an opportunity to switch things around. Yes. Make your uh, lifestyle changes. Yeah. You don't want to ever look back and say you did nothing, right? No. In the no, situation, you don't want right? That. It's like, if someone was telling you before, like, here's mm -hmm. the steps on preventing such and yeah. such and such and such, well, Take a couple of those steps yeah. instead of regretting it later is yeah. was what I'm saying. So, yeah. Anyways. No doubt, no doubt. But uh, prayers out to the boss. Hopefully he bounces back. Prayers. Shouts out to the Shouts boss. Out. And, uh, yeah, what do we have happening tonight? Oh, man. What's we, going we on? We have a little event that we, we are uh, doing. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think we should give it away yet. I think when it's in full swing. Yeah, we're not going to say it yet. Uh, then we let people know. But uh, we have a little event happening at uh, Citadel High School. Yeah. Um, but that's all we'll say. We're good. We're, we'll be there. It's yeah, we don't. But we're going to go take part and take it. Check it out. Yeah. The uh, Black Cult. What is it called? The Black uh, Cultural Film Festival. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. definitely, if you're if you can go to that, go check it out. Go check it out. I'm sure there's going to be some great things going on. In fact, there is going to be great things going on there. Always. Great uh, things. So and yeah, we have that going on, and then on Saturday, of course, we have tomorrow night the jam. The happening jam at the Seahorse. Myself, T. Wu, Lucas, still drunk. Uh, always a good time. I'll be there. Um, Tony will be there, yeah. hanging out. Pop in. Um, I do nothing for the show, but I'll be. Hey man, it's perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm still depending if I'm going to drink this weekend. I have no yeah. idea. Yeah, you're going to start another 30 days. You're saying? I know. I might right. keep. I might kick it up to 90 okay. days without a goddamn drop of. Do you have nothing in the last two months? Not a drop. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, my my initial goal was 60 days, but then I was like, let me start going to 30. And when I made yeah. 30, I was like, okay, time to just go to my original 60 goal, 60 yeah. day goal. And now I'm here. Shit. So and that's not easy, bro, especially when you're in the scenes all the time. I know. Good on you, man. I know. If you do another 30, you'd be all right. Right? But then you'll want to keep going. You're I, done. I'm almost, I think it's clear. I was with my friend Megan earlier today, and she was kind of like, you're almost at that. I think you might be at that point where you just it's don't. like, what's the point now? Yeah, why, kind of like, why keep doing the 30 days? You just, just say, I'm done. You don't drink. 
I just don't drink. Yeah. Ooh. I know it's crazy. But that's a big commitment, no, bro. I, I know. I'm not. I'm not. You're I'm not, not ready to take that. I'm not there yet. <laughs> he still likes to party. Yeah, we're taking it day by day, ladies and gentlemen. We'll burn this mother down tomorrow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tear my insides right up. I'll drink one for you. Okay. Or I'll three. give you a couple tickets. Like oh, I said, yeah, I like free I tickets. Got you. I got you. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, that. It's gonna go down tomorrow night. Tomorrow excited. night. Super be, excited. Be good to see everybody come out for that. If you're in the city of Halifax, Nova Scotia. If you're not, yeah. drive here. Yeah, drive here. Get your ass. To yeah. take an Uber, yeah, go take yeah. a sixteen hundred dollars and get to the gym. Yeah. Um, but until then, we'll be back on Monday, ladies and gentlemen, with a fresh set of topics. And next week, I'm going to try and get a, a guest on the show. We're going to try and have some weekly guests to spruce things up around here. And we'll be making uh, some changes to the set. I think <laughs> next week, <laughs> as we do like almost every week. Right? Yeah, you're gonna we're improving it for you. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the whole aesthetic of things. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. We really appreciate. Appreciate you tuning in. If you like the show, please uh, share it to all your feeds. Uh, go to YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube page as well. Yes. Uh, we honestly do really appreciate your time and your efforts uh, in tuning in and all of your your comments. It means a lot. Much love and respect, and uh, be safe this weekend. Yeah. Everyone have a good time, but uh, not too good of a time. Right. And uh, yeah, have a good evening, folks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Be easy. Peace out.